In this video, we're going to be looking at how to use the uh, ASP.NET Role Manager. Uh, in some cases, you may want to protect some uh, section of your website for a particular group of people. For example, uh, say we have a university website, you may have two different roles. You may want to create one role for the lecturers and another role for other members of staff. So uh, even though both users will be uh, authenticated users, the authentication will not be enough. After authentication, the user will still have to be in a particular role in order uh, to access the content. So the, what this means is sometimes uh, the authentication is not enough. If you enable the roles on your website, so if you have different roles, you may say that uh, you have three different types of people. You may have the student. So when the student logs in, they are authenticated and they can f view some certain part of the website. They won't be able to access the content that has been protected for the lecturer and for the other members of staff but the lecturer might be able to view the content that is available for students and also available for other members of staff but other members of staff will be able to access the content for students but will not be able to access the uh, lecturer's content so this means that even though you are the every one of them is uh, authenticated they will still need to be in a, in a in a particular role for them to be able to access the content for that role so authentication is not always enough you also have to be in a particular role for you to access the content so ASP.NET role can be enabled either by modifying the web.config file or by using the ASP.NET web site administrative tool which we used in the previous video this will allow you to enable the roles you can create new roles add users to roles or you can uh, delete existing roles whenever you whenever you manually create uh, a new user in this tool you get the options uh, that will allow you to add the user to a specific role once you enable the uh, ASP.NET ASP .NET role then every time you create a new user uh, using the interface from the website administrative tool then you get the options to add the user that you're creating to a specific role you can also use the access rule to configure folders access on your website you can set these rules from within the web.config file you always have to understand the web.config file is the main uh, configuration file for our website but uh, the website administrative tool is just uh, a very easy in, uh, interface to modify this file so let's go ahead now and look at uh, how we can uh, enable the role in uh, our application so if we go to uh, our website uh, the VWD and go to ASP.NET configuration uh, before I do anything, I'd like to show you that uh, at the moment inside the web, this is the web.config file for the website. You can see that uh, under the under the uh, system.web, this is system.web, we have the authentication, which is more equals to form. We don't have anything to do with roles underneath the system.web. So, but as soon as we modify as soon as we modify it so if we go under the security and as you see the rows are disabled by default so rows are so we can enable rows by just clicking on this row and we're going to uh, create or manage rows let's create our two rows so we're going to call one staff so let's call one staff so this is for all the members of staff well, we're going to create another row which is just for the lecturer so we can call this lecturer lecturer if I spell it correctly yep so now we've had two rows so if I go back to the security and I show you just an example of if you create a user if you create a particular user you see you get the option to um, select which role you want this users to be but we do not want to create our user from this uh, interface we want to use the website to create our user so let me show you now that uh, it says that the, this uh, content has been modified outside so let's 
reload it so now we should be able to find now you see that we have a role manager now the role manager has been enabled so enable equals to true so this has been added to your web so we could just simply have added this to the web to config file and it will still have done the same thing so this is how you uh, enable role on your website and uh, let me see what else have I spoken about uh, okay so we've created two rows and we've um, we're going to be talking about the access rules in a future video and uh, so I just want to show you a very brief overview of how to enable roles in your website. In the next video, we're going to see how we can use uh, the create user wizard to actually add users to our uh, roles from within our registration form. Thank you.